So, Nin, Saman, uh, Extraordinary, and Swanky. I'm trying. Do what Alf does and steal. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. You're not. This is definitely my. I've been in Michigan for about two weeks. Oh, well, I, welcome. Yeah, thanks. My tag's Valcor. I'm from NorCal. So. Oh wow, you had uh, quite a journey. Holy lord. A little bit. So it's gonna be interesting seeing the um, the dynamic and the meta of this region. Um, yeah. What about yourself? Uh, Gucci, resident nerd. You know, the good stuff. That's how it goes. All right. I'm not sure oh. if NorCal actually has any you know static teams, but it'd be. In East Michigan, we don't. It's mostly West Michigan that's static, so uh, I don't believe any of these teams have actually uh, teamed previously. Well, it'll be exciting to watch that. Now, we have a we have a few back in um, NorCal. We actually have multiple players who are solely dedicated doubles players. They don't play singles. We used to actually have that, too, with Linus and Hawk. Oh, that's and then they just slowly transitioned over. Ooh. Oh, okay. Taking the stock of his own teammate, but at, at this point, it seems to be worth it with the fun stock lead. Rage Rio doesn't really actually care about anything. <laughs> yeah. Mis ask Mr. R's Twitter. It's fine. <laughs> so I kind of like how the green team is actually just trying to do like a 2v1, just bully one person. Well, well, just like two 1v1s. Yeah, it's actually intriguing because H15 is, or high five. It's just kind of hanging off to the side most of the time while Swank is just pulling into the front. Oh, but oh. that's that's going to cost them, actually. This division is not, it doesn't really make it into the higher levels of doubles play. Except it seems to be doing them decently. Except right. Akuma's not letting up with these focus. It's yeah. bad. Oh my gosh, uh, Swanky, under two minutes, is already out. And, uh, he actually used to be one of our PR players, so... You can see the little rust is kind of uh, settled in. It's fine. Oh, saved from the true input show you. That doesn't matter though. Diddy's here for the day. Man, hands are just being thrown left and right. Actually though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Bayonetta does. I don't think those are hands, but it's fine. I think it's her hair actually. Oh, God, it wow. Have yeah. mercy. I don't. I'm gonna be surprised if Swank even actually lands a hit on either. Oh, uh, right, there we go. I. I was definitely not expecting uh, this game oh. around to go the way it did. So that was uh, an eye opener. All right, that was really intriguing. Um, back in back in NorCal, a lot of the players are really. We're super aggro, just super aggro. And so it was really intriguing just to see High Five literally just kind of sitting there, throwing out the, you know, Hadokens whenever he really felt like it, while Swank was in the middle of things. But that division is probably, you know, it caused a, a separation there. For James, uh, who is for James? What's his tag? Oh, uh, that's Ned. Ned, okay. It, there was, you know, they were capitalizing a lot on that division because Swank was getting just kind of double comboed. High Five would come in, try to break it up, and then it would divide back. Yeah, uh, that was not Swinky's finest moment, unfortunately. So we'll have to see how they how they react this time. Now they have a little more, they have more area to work with with the double plat or the triple platform. So we'll see what happens. I'll say, yeah, it benefits both reuse. I'm not sure how I feel about with Bayonetta on screen so much, because I feel like the platforms could just help escalate um, her change just to the top, so. Oh, no, high five, no. True, but that can also Leads a very short shoot. Oh god. Yeah, kind of oh, like that. Oh god, no. Oh. Okay. We got an immediate response from Diddy, though. 
So many dash techs. So many meaty. Oh! My god! And then just capitalize yeah. on top of swings. I guess, like, patience. You was monster! Oh, sorry, man. I would have moved. Alright, we see Akuma's getting stuck in this 2v1 here. And then just keeps getting sent off stage. Except they're not truly capitalizing. They're not getting enough, you know, not enough crabs coming out. He's just kind of sitting in shield while they're throwing out move after move. Yeah, I mean, if you got your opponent off stage and you're alone with the other one, you've got to take advantage of that because you have all the time in the world to just work on those team combos and get that damn track enough. Exactly. Screw to 3d8, by the way. <laughs> Valcor. Nice, getting back on stage, getting a swank in the air. Oh, this might be. Oh. Yeah, that's oh. the hard thing about this team right here because with Bayonetta, it's hard to truly capitalize on being able to cover the ledge against her because of that witch twist. So you have two characters with immense kill power, especially off the top, so it's really dangerous for things like Swank to be going up with these monkey flips on top and things of the sort. Yeah, it's I'm really putting them in a tough position. Yeah, they've definitely got a good anti-air team to deal with that Diddy's mobility. Well, that is something they'll have to watch out for, but... Good, good Ooh. back air from AJ. Uh, high five, though. Oh my god, AJ, high five. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the challenges right there of Bayonetta, just how long she takes to get back to the stage. She definitely isn't one of the quickest at getting back. So any chance you have, honestly, I'd say just chuck her off stage and deal with the other opponent. That'd be the easiest way to deal with her. Exactly, because you know she's out of the picture, and so you have enough time to uh, 2v1 here. But what what I'm not seeing enough of is these grabs, which you know, if you have two people, you are guaranteed oh some no. form of content. Oh no! Oh no! Oh the misspacing, oh. the short UV recovery. Save. What was this punish? He had all the time in the world to space that out right, and he missed it. You cannot be whiffing those kinds of things. So that should be a free stock right there. Oh, trying to go up to save Swank, hoping to get out. Ned, is it? Yeah, I'm, yeah, Ned. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, double. Du oh! That's a nice, relatively safe move you have there in the neutral. Be ashamed if the wish time existed. <laughs> Well, it's really interesting watching um, Akuma and High Five just duke it out in this 1v1. Like, yeah. They don't even care what's going on the side of them. They are just focused entirely on each other right now. Yeah, they definitely want to prove out who's the better trio, I think. Yeah, HI5 is getting ready for these team combos, and he's just like, he's aware of where Akuma is, but not responding until like the very last moment. Yeah. I oh. Mean Part of that is because you just have to respect the Bayonetta in neutral because if you try and focus on one person entirely and you forget about the other person, things like that can happen. Yeah, yeah, that, that is true. Wow, that's that's rough. That'll take it. 2-0. Yeah. So uh, Bayonetta and Ryu proven to be a pretty...